Well, good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to another video. <sighs> Got some bad news. My truck is clapped. That's the only way I can describe it. Basically, the entire front end is destroyed. And by the end of it, I'm gonna get new tires and it's probably gonna cost about three grand. But you know, if we wanna do any off-roading, it has to be done. But until then, we got the good old grandma car and she's gonna get me to my fishing spots for the next few weeks. I promised myself I wouldn't take it on any dirt roads, but first trip out, yeah. But anyway, I'm heading to this lake that I haven't fished in like, it's been a while. I can't even remember, but it's got some tiger trout, some rainbow trout. Hopefully we catch some fish and hopefully we don't break our car because uh, I'm pretty rough on things, which is why my truck is, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's not good. All right, enough talking. Let's get to the lake. Well guys, it's a little windy. I just checked the weather app and it said it's got like a 33% chance of raining today. And the wind's gonna be like 10 to 15 miles an hour. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. I'd rather fish in the rain than the wind. All right, so I think I'm just gonna bring my spinning rod for now. To be honest, I don't really wanna mess with fly fishing. I love it, I enjoy it, but I don't know, man. I just don't feel like raging today. All right. All right, so I started clear over there on the opposite side of the lake and I walked all the way around to this side because the wind five minutes ago was blowing this way and I kid you not, it has flipped a 180 and now it is blowing right into me. So, And also it's a lot shallower on that side and on this shoreline we got a lot of big boulders and it's a lot quicker of a drop off. So that's usually better for fishing. Well, this is as good a spot as any to start, I guess. It looks pretty good. The water is crystal clear, which is good. I do see some weeds out there. Hopefully that's not too big of a problem. The first cast of the day. Gosh, oh, I'm sure the audio was just perfect right now. So there appears to be a giant bed of weeds out here that I'm hanging up on every cast. If I cast far enough outside the weed line, then my lure is only in the strike zone for like 20 feet. So I gotta cast as far out as I can to even get a chance of getting a fish. Oh, saw a fish jump. Oh, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. Oh, did he get off? No, I still got him. Wait, do I? No, no. <laughs> Shoot, he got off and that felt like a good one too. You know, I'll take that as a good sign. I've only been fishing for like 10 minutes. I don't know how the heck he came off though. I'm using a Rapala. Those are treble hooks, kids. There we go, hooked up. That feels like a good one. Or they're just fighting hard, but that does definitely feels like a decent fish. Don't give him any slack, he's swimming right towards me. Ooh, that is a good fish. What do we have? Ooh, big old rainbow, look at that. Nice, come here buddy. Ooh. Yes, hey, I will take that. Oh, he just popped off too. I'm after tiger trout but I'll take a big fat rainbow like that any day. There we go, first fish of the day. Quality rainbow on the Rapala. It's a good way to start. We've only been out here like 10 minutes, so heck yeah. Oh, and he's dead. Get out of here. Oh, turn around. There he goes. But I think I'm using the right lure. I mean, a bite and a fish in 10 minutes. I don't even think I showed you guys what I was using. It's a size seven countdown Rapala, brook trout pattern. 
A lot of you guys ask me what kind of Rapalas I buy. I always get the countdowns because they're heavier and they sink and you can cast them farther in the wind and I feel like they swim a lot better in the wind. So, and I do recommend buying them at Walmart instead of Sportsman's or Cabela's. They're about $2 cheaper at Walmart. So if you're into saving money like me, definitely go to Walmart so you can buy more gas to go fishing. All right, I'm gonna switch it up. I know I caught one on the Rapala, but my problem is just getting past these weeds. So I'm gonna put something on that's a little heavier that I can cast out farther. So now I've got on this rainbow trout pattern spoon. Maybe they'll like a more bright color, I don't know. There we go, that's a fish. That's a fish. Finally, right on the outside of the weed line. Can't let him get off. Ooh. Yeah. There we go, another rainbow on the big pink and blue spoon. All right, little, hey, chill, chill out. I'm gonna let you go. There he goes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right over there on the horizon, looks like a storm is coming. It does not look too good. Thankfully, the wind is blowing this way, but if I know anything about the weather, give it 10 minutes and it'll do something completely different. There we go, there's one. Oh my gosh, they're fighting so freaking hard. And that's not even a very big fish, look at that. That is not even a huge fish. Holy cow. They hit it like they're 10 pounds. There we go. Nice. Another rainbow, all about the same size, and they're good fish. And you know what, I'm actually gonna keep this one. These are great fish to eat. And I can keep a limit of up to four, so I might as well take one or two. I don't know if I'll cook them in the video, but I'm gonna eat them at some point. Knock them out real quick. Go ahead and throw them in our grocery bag here. Nice. So I switched it up again to this orange spoon. I don't know how much color makes a difference right now. Sometimes it doesn't matter what color you're throwing, they're just not gonna eat, but sometimes it can make a difference, so we'll give it a try. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get out of the weeds, get out of the weeds. Oh, he's lodged in the weeds. Are you kidding me? Do I still have him? Oh, shoot. He got right in the weeds. I don't even know if I have him on still. Oh, no. I broke off. Shoot. That is really freaking frustrating like that was a good fish and they just swim straight in these weeds and once they're lodged in there like you basically can't get them out oh my gosh i'm actually really frustrated oh so next time i get a fish i'm just gonna rip them as fast as i can through those weeds i am not breaking off again all right got a new spoon on hopefully i don't break this one off Make sure my drag is good. There we go. There we go, that's a fish. I know you're not supposed to horse them in, but I kinda have to, or else they're gonna get in those weeds. Oh shoot. No! Oh, he might be coming up, he might be coming up. Yep, I still got him, I still got him. Oh, it's a, what is that? Oh, another rainbow, but hey, at least I can land this one. Nice. Nice. There are tiger trout in here. I don't know why they don't want to show themselves right now, but hopefully we'll get at least one of those. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, but I came for the tigers. I'm going to let this one go. Whew. Wow. 
These are some angry fish. They hit it like freight trains. They fight like bulldogs. They kick away like a, I don't know, bird dog in heat. Well guys, little update. I fished all this shoreline, all the way down there, clear to here for like three hours and landed four rainbows. For three hours of fishing, that's pretty slow. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk all the way back around over to where I parked and explore that part of the lake because I've never fished over there. It's a lot shallower, but I do see some people out there in kayaks fishing, so maybe they know something I don't. <sighs> Guys, we started all the way straight across fished that whole entire shoreline for like three hours and then walked all the way back around to right where I'm standing. This side of the lake is a lot more gradual of a decline and it's really really sandy not a whole lot of structure and typically that's not as good for fish but sometimes all the fish are hanging out in the shallow sandbars eating so I don't know. Man it is just so shallow over here I can't even cast. Like there's weeds clear out there. Looks like someone was busy creating their own personal hot tub. Or not a hot tub, probably freezing cold. There we go. There's a fish. There we go. Get him out of the weeds. I gotta horse him in. I know you're not supposed to, but that's a fatty. Nice rainbow. Whew. You know, for that to be the average trout in here, that's pretty good. There we go. Number five. Maybe we can get into some kind of evening bite here. I mean, the clouds have rolled in, the temperature's dropped like 10 degrees it feels like. So maybe that'll kind of flip a switch and get them feeding. Guys, check this out. See all that line? Take a big long cast. Look at that. <laughs> it's all gone. Oh, oh gosh. I just got smoked clear out there. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Or he just crushed it, took a run, and now he's coming right to me. Oh, it is a decent one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> he's just coming right to me. That's a good one. It's actually one of the bigger ones. Oh yeah, that run he took at the beginning. I literally thought I hooked like a 10 pounder. Get in here, buddy. Oh, got him. No, that is not a bad fish. On the spoon again. I think all, we only caught one fish on the Rapala. The rest have been on spoons. Whew. Nice. These are some of the hardest fighting rainbows I've ever encountered. They just take runs like, they're insane, man. They're insane. Like, look at this. Ooh, golly. <laughs> there we go. Good one. Good one. Oh, shoot. He got me in the weeds. Oh, dang it. Hopefully he's still on and I can work him out. Oh, do I still have him? Oh, I still got him. I still got him. Nice. Ooh, that's probably the smallest one of the day. Yeah. How did the smallest fish pull me all the way down into the weeds? Look at that. It's a pretty fish, but his mouth is kind of like warped a little bit. It's kind of weird. Oh, other way. There you go. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, there he goes. Oh, <laughs> what is he doing, buddy? <laughs> he 
he's just swimming in circles. Hey, get out of there he goes. All right, boys. So we caught some fish on the spoon. That's what we've been using most of the day. But for the last little bit of daylight we have, we're gonna throw the Rapala around. I feel like we didn't give him a chance to reach his full potential. You know, we caught the first fish with it and then we just kind of took it off. Oh, right there. <laughs> what in the heck? I'm not gonna lie, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Holy cow. That dude came out of nowhere. That was the second cast with the Rapala, so hey, catch the smallest fish of the day. I could probably just put this guy on a big circle hook and let him swim around down there. Buddy, you hooked yourself bad. <laughs> See ya. All right, so I know I said I was gonna use the Rapala till the end of the day, but those weeds are just too bad and it dives right into them. So back to the spoon we go. There we go. Oh, came off. There's fish jumping everywhere, everywhere. Come on. There we go. Good. Good fish. Good fish. Oh my gosh. Get him out of those weeds. Get him out of the weeds. Get him out of the weeds. This could be the fish I was after all day. Oh. Oh. It's. <laughs> Dude. That's a good one. Get out of there. Ooh. Nice. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, look at that. I cannot emphasize enough how freaking strong these fish are. I'm honestly blown away. These have to be some of the <laughs> strongest fish known to man. And there we go. Solid little rainbow to end the day. Oh, and there he goes. He's gone. <laughs> Well, I think we're gonna end it on that note. Let me tell you guys, those are some of the strongest fish I have ever encountered, trout anyway. I mean, there were multiple times I hooked into some and I thought they were five pounders, so imagine how an actual five pounder would feel. But anyway, guys, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I have walked around this lake like twice today. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.